Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. I had no idea I was going to make this video tonight. It's Christmas Eve. I kind of just want to show a demonstration of something. This is a destroyer amp. AB biased. 12879 amplifier. It's uh, supposed to be regulated AB. Okay. Uh, I got this amp off a nice little trade I did with a buddy of mine. And uh, I've had it for a few months and I have not hooked it up yet. And I seen it in the closet and I was like, you know what, grab that thing and go outside and hook it up. Well, I didn't have no screws in it because I'd already looked at it and studied it a little bit and this and that. So I put about three or four screws in it because if you see these two fans on the front, he has a regulating circuit, a LM7812 regulator circuit for the fans. Okay. I'm doing an AB amp. I probably would just put a resistor because uh, this really isn't going to be bolted. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with putting the regulating circuit on every fan. Alrighty, well. I went and hooked it up, and uh, this is what I heard. Let me hold the mic down to the speaker of my radio so you can hear. I'm going to turn it off. Turn it back on. All right. You're basically hearing the fan, the fan's motor is uh, causing interference with the radio through the coax. Because, watch this. We'll take the coax. Now watch this. If I get anywhere close to it, it starts to make that noise again. Well, it was doing it a lot worse than when I had the actual lid on here with a few screws in it. It was ten times worse. When I when I, when it was like that, I could get the coax and hold it about this far, and it would start. So that's let you know it's going through the actual air. I'll plug this back up. All right. The reason I'm making this video is so hopefully somebody will learn from this. I have nothing against Chris at Destroyer. He's actually helped me out. Let me turn this off. He's actually helped me out a good bit when I first started building. I don't know where he's at now. He seemed to have went AWOL. Uh, I'm not going to put anybody's personal business out there, but... Um, there are some people looking for him to just to talk to him about a few things. He's kind of just went AWOL. I hope he's okay. If anybody has any information on a uh, pill popper at Destroyer, uh, please hit me up and let me know if he's okay and all that good stuff. I need to holler at him myself. Um, all right. I figured out what's causing this, and I figured out what will make it quit. All right, let me try to zoom in real quick. Uh, if you look at this circuit, you'll see there's an electrolytic on the output of the regulator, and that is there to actually filter what's coming out of the regulator, okay, to keep noise, to keep the regulator from self-oscillating like it's doing right now. All right, but there's nothing on the input. All righty. Let's come over to this hot bus. As you see, there's nothing on this hot bus. This is the hot bus right here. There's no ceramic caps. Hey, babe, one second, okay? I'm right in the middle of a quick video. One second. 
Sorry about that, y'all. There's no ceramic caps on the hot bus. No filtering at all. All right, now watch this. I'm going to be real quick with this. My sweet thing just called. Give me one second. All right. This right here is a 104 cap. All right. I am simply going to take this cap and I'm going to hook it up to the input and to ground. You hear it? It stopped. I'm hook it up again. Hear how it stopped? All right. Whenever you're using a regulating circuit, you need some sort of input capacitance. I promise you, if there was at least a ceramic cap on this hot bus, it would tie into this because if you travel this hot wire back, it goes back to this hot bus through a switch. And we wouldn't be having this issue right now. So just simply one simple cap one small 104 cap 50 volt cap right here takes that noise completely out so just to let y'all know whenever you're using a regulated circuit if you want to know the values the specs calls for the specs calls for a 104 on the input and a dot 33 uf for the maximum one amp 1.5 amp on the output of a 7812. I hope this helps if anybody comes with any problems with noise from their uh, 12 volt voltage regulators. Gatekeeper said it, we're gone.